how it will come how and how deal with it that happen within this so welcome back to our channel Okay, guys, today I'm back with another episode. <laughs> um, if you're yet to subscribe, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Okay, um, first time, uh, let us start by talking about Majek Fashek, the legendary Majek Fashek, the divine maker. Majek Fashek has been buried in New York City. I mean, I feel bad as a fan. And as a Nigerian, that this man who didn't have the opportunity, you know, to be buried in his home country, I feel bad as a person. Now I understand, like the kids are in, you know, New York City and all that they could have access to his the burial ground where he was buried, you know, anytime they want. But me, as a as a fan and a, a Nigerian, knowing fully well that this is a legend, like seriously, I just feel like you know home would have been the best place for him but hey stuff happening and it's because of covid 19 um as as it was you know earlier stated by the sun but um r.i.p to the legend you know majek fashek um the next one here legacy Baden railway line oh my god you guys need to check out the pictures these pictures look dope and i saw some comments you know some people saying oh this won't last for a year and all that nigerians let us at least appreciate some things coming out of ninja if it's good news let us embrace it you know if it's something that you know what celebrating i feel like we should celebrate it okay even though truly it turns out that you know we have to like now cry after a year <laughs> Let us at least appreciate, you know, that moment that we have. So for me, I think this is amazing. This is a, a good one right here. The trains, according to report, will run um, 16 trips daily when operations begins next month. I know some people will live in a battle all right and work in lagos but because of the you know, the stress of traveling long distance they have to relocate which is not their choice people could easily live in um, ibado and also and, and work in lagos which is amazing you know vice versa those people who are in lagos to have business in Ibadan, they can also do that so like this is a, a good a good one okay guys and look at how neat it is but another thing that I'm just going to say is I hope that the government are able to maintain this. It can be working because I know our government, yeah, it can be working fine, but the maintenance is key. And that is what we lack. So I hope they, they you know, they take this serious. Look at the pictures, the interior, everything looks nice. by middle of September from Yaba to Ibada while the other construction uh, finishing will continue uh, hopefully will be full blown we already have 24 coaches and a set of DMU mix of 8 coaches so with that we tend to have a 16 round trip a day okay guys so much for that let us move straight to the next one here we have the actress princess Princess Shingo. <laughs> okay. Um, Princess Shingo said, if you like, do 20 um, liposuction in one year. By the way, it's surgery, you know, cosmetic surgery. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> in one year, there is no doctor in this planet that can remove all the fat from your tummy. That's why you see a lot of girls that did lipo looking like overfed turkey. It's because they are bloated and still have belly fat. The reason why I just want to jump on this and move straight to the next one is just the fact that it's 
very serious now now normally in nigeria you don't hear anything about cosmetic surgery like the rise of cosmetic surgery in nigeria has now increased um there was one doctor anu i don't know some of you that that, that heard about the news they call, they call a quack doctor you know who puts poisonous fat or unhealthy fat into your body and uh, like some people die through through this whole process of cosmetic surgery so this has also increased the risk there in nigeria as well everybody want to be a doctor you know a cosmetic um um surgeon cosmetic surgeon or something <laughs> yeah everybody want to be that in nigeria now so it's not just the increase in nigeria it is also the increase of quack surgeons in nigeria because that is they believe that that's, that's where the money is so a lot of ladies i don't know what they are looking for but it's just so crazy the rise of you know this cosmetic surgery in nigeria you won't copy Oibo, but you never reach the level you never get the equipment to do that but you must do that by force by killing people <laughs> all right guys moving on to the next one here we have a pastor i just posted this by the way on my instagram page um recently we have a pastor right here that raises the dead look look i i you guys know i don't touch pastors i i try as much as possible not to touch pastors except those ones that are doing the obvious physical um things that everybody could see and uh, most people in their right mind knows that this is not right okay those are the people i call out sometimes but again respectfully this one is just so shocking seeing a pastor on camera raising the dead body so easy and, and i'm just thinking we are not fools we know that these things i don't want to say it's not real but i don't believe it i'm sorry i i'm free to believe and not believe what i want to right i don't really believe that but hey guys let's watch this video <laughs> guys let's talk about indecent um, um dressing you know um this is what some people are talking about most especially the celebrities talking about it on social media most of them are against it okay someone like um this actor um actor ugezu um i i hope i pronounced that right um by the way i like his movie <laughs> his movies he's always hyped in movies <laughs> okay um here he said a deliberately naked woman is not beautiful woman a deliberately naked woman is a b beauty is registered in the core area of imagination admirers endlessly imagine what lies beneath when everything is thrown open in the name of fashion or attention seeking the woman becomes classless and stupid um class is everything virtue is life here we have this actress victoria Iyama. victoria Iyama is of the notion that you know um you for you to get respect you know you have to dress decently and there was a video that went viral and i think she reacted to the video saying the lady was sexually harassed okay on the streets right and she said it was because of what that lady wore Let, let's just watch what she has to say about it all I'm saying, Nigerian women, Nigerian girls, please, especially those that live in Nigeria, eh? You can go to Tunde not blog, oh, that is my uh, uh, guilty passion. <laughs> my guilty passion. You can go there and say anything you want to say because that's the closest you can ever get to me. Like, I am not, you know, but you, that comment section, that is the closest you can ever get to me in your life okay that's what number one it's not arrogance so it's just self-pride number two dress well hmm? dress well i made a comment on a girl that went to the market wearing short clingy dress in the market and someone touched her bum <laughs> Yes, what he did was wrong. 
right? But who wears that to the market? You they go buy a video, you they go sell. Eh? What has okay that the government is 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 just hopeless, right? That the government is frustrating you. Must you not frustrate yourselves? Right? Where where is that modesty? Where is that? Please, you're going to the club, dress like you're going to the club. You're going on a date, dress like you're going on a date. You're going to work, dress like you're going to work, you're going to school. Just like you're going to school, I do understand that we do not have, you know, certain um, responsible categories. I do understand that because, I mean, a typical girl in Nigeria, is she working? No, now it's only the, the ones working are different because they know that there is there is a way to dress to work. There are dress codes that you dress to work, but you want respect, and yes, some of you deserve respect, but some of you don't. So for those ones that live abroad and they are talking, eh, you, she's her body. She can wear what she wants to wear. It is her body. Ha, excuse me. Like, you know, so it is her body. And she's going to the markets where they have all kinds of boys, where they have all kinds of touts, where they have all kinds of behaviors. And you know that your government do not care. Your government is not going to come and say, who touched that girl's bum? Oh yeah, you're under arrest. No. Even people around will laugh. So what are you saying? What exactly are you saying? Why are you deceiving all these young girls? Dress decently. Dress modestly. Dress for where you're going to. Dress for the occasion. Respect yourself. And avoid harassment. And avoid stupid talks. Then the stupid people let them talk. Now it's all about dressing decent. I get it, okay? Personally, I'm against that. But I'm still saying that, you know, if we start passing a message using this means, right people will capitalize on that most especially those people who harass sexually harass every harasses everybody will take that as an excuse since it's going to eventually lead to something bad you know there's no point saying oh ladies have to dress a certain way because i've seen kids get sexually you know harassed i've seen people who were this old regalia looking you know like angels and still get you know harassed by men that's that have no self-respect and so it, it really doesn't stop there i think it's, it's more than that it's more than you know that and here we also have actor chuku uh chukuka jude who said i'm here to see both the mainstream and social media gives tenny um that's tenny the musician um her credit to have hit limelight without showing her cleavage or going half naked in her videos who says you can't blow dressing decent? All right, guys, moving on to the next one. Here we have Tonto to DK. Tonto to DK said, 2020 has been my best year so far. I missed um, all the life hustle. 2020 has blessed me more than my 34 years on earth. Yeah, Tonto to DK. That is because there was no drama. I know you guys watching me will be like, hey, you know, this coronavirus, why would Toto Diki say that, you know, she's just seeking for attention? No, I think she's right. This is the, the year where the social media um, experience uh, a little bit of sanity just because Toto Diki has no issue whatsoever with her husband or the, the issue was less compared to before. So we were able to experience that silence on social media from Tonto DK and they said person will say mama no go rest himself no go rest so Tonto DK don't rest uh health and everything self rest so she have time you know to take care of herself and her health and and eat well and, and all that so sometimes drama creates stress all right no drama from Tonto DK this year it's a, it's a calm year you know from Tonto DK all right guys moving on to the next one here we have the EFCC Magu. Um, let me read this report. The presidential panel probing Ibrahim Magu has recommended his sack. Of course, he's supposed to be sacked. Sack him and not jail him. Why isn't he going to jail? Why isn't him being taken to court and prosecuted? You know, it's, it's a crime, isn't it? Crazy. Okay, guys, uh, speaking about still government matters here, here we have Kemilala Akindoju. She said, I still 
which we will take our elections and holding our leaders accountable as seriously and passionately as we take a big border. I wish young people would give the same energy to register to vote when it is time. We have to do more to fight for our country. The truth is, most people don't like politics. That's the fact. And I get it. Politics is boring. Boring as hell. Sometimes it's boring. Our leaders make it fun though. You know, they are, they are comedians in the house. But it is a serious issue. It's something that is serious. In Nigeria, the case is different because it's a must for us because the government is bad. So you must know it. It's a must. So you can know it, but do you have to li like it? No. I've seen people say, I just don't like politics. You don't have to like it, but know what's going on. Know what you could do to create a change. And guys, I'm just seeing this, you know, it seems like Ghanaians are having issues with Nigerians over there. Oh, they said Nigerians are killing their market. And it's something that they, you know, they, they sell, you know, five um, Ghana CDs. Now Nigerians uh, will come and um, sell it for three Ghana CDs. African countries always have issues with Nigeria and it's always about business. It's always about how oh, they came into the market and they stopped selling and just have taken over their market. They are doing it's always about business. And and that tells you that you know Nigerians are business savvy. You know, anywhere they go, maybe where you're getting yours for like three dollars and you selling for five dollars maybe a nigerian have a, a a way you know they could get it for cheaper maybe for one ghanaian cds and sell it for three ghanaian cds they or or half whatever ghana ghanaian cds and sell it for like times two of the price but it will be cheaper in the market but the again is much you know i just think that the hate towards nigerians in some african countries um, it's sometimes jealousy sometimes okay not all the time okay sometimes they are right all right um, but yeah that's it guys what do you think about everything that I've said let me know in the comment section below and again guys don't forget to like this video okay and share all right and, and again I just want to I'm confused right when I check my analytics on YouTube I discovered that I have more more um, uh, more views from whatsapp I, I, do you guys share my videos on whatsapp what's 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 up with that well thank you so much for watching and peace